Hello again, this is Johnson Rice again for 2013. I'm gonna try and do another Porkfest walkthrough uh, for this year, and uh, I will explain my outfit and the music momentarily. But I wanted to do another, uh, attempt another uncut walkthrough of Porkfest this time uh, for this year and uh, show you what's going on. So I'm going to attempt to do that now and uh, I'm gonna walk through. This time I'm starting at the entrance. So that's the sign for Rogers. And so this is what you'll see as you're coming in. Um, so I'll, I'll follow this uh, motorcycle as he's coming in and uh, we'll uh, take a little walk around. So one of the first things that you see as you come in is the hotels. Rogers Motel. Some people parked up front here. There's the upper hotel. And I will explain the music. Let's head down. And I'll show you what you're hearing. I decided to pick an interesting time to take a walk around this year. This is the cafe, open from nine to noon. You get yourself breakfast, it's Rogers stuff. As you're walking in, you can normally park in that parking lot. Walk down here, this is where they have Porkfest registration. I'll take you in real quickly. First registration. There's the arcade. Some of the swag documentation. We activists love the paperwork. <laughs> All right, heading back out. So of course, one of the interesting things about Porkfest is Buzz's bigger, gayer dance party. And it's going on right now. So that's gonna be the first taste. Two of the interesting things that are going on right now at Porkfest is the one pot cook-off and Buzz's Bigger Gay Dance Party, which is going on right at this moment. So I'm gonna take you down to it. Looks like Buzz has got some kind of announcement and they're ringing the bell. This is where people get freaky. I'm taking video. I'm yeah, currently doing my video. my 2013 walkthrough. Anything to say about Buzz's Bigger, bigger Gay Dance Party? It's so gay. I love it. Eddie? Eddie Free? What the hell? Yeah, it's so gay. Yeah, it's so gay. Yeah, it's so gay. Yeah, it's so
check out Keen and go out and maybe do some Robin Hooding while you're there, as well as uh, you know, a variety of other things. We'll be doing karaoke, I think. Maybe we'll have some bands. It should be a lot of fun. And um, it's pretty cheap, too. If you buy your ticket before the end of this weekend, it's only $35 for, uh, for the whole weekend. And we are going to have, of course, an LGBT panel, as would be appropriate. So we'll look forward to seeing you there. And uh, thanks again. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Oh, 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 my queen, my queen. <laughs> I see the queen, here she comes. I think the group photo is tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, they're also doing Bradley Manning uh, posters and Edward Snowden posters for, for the post. That'd be awesome. want everybody to participate. Dale and Neil from Flaming Freedom. We're getting ready to announce Greatest Dancer. What was that? Freedom. Freedom. Woo! All right, there have been some fantastic dancers here this afternoon. Let's give a round for everyone who has breaking it down, cleared it up, gotten gay, maybe for the first time in your life. It's all right. That's fine. This is a safe place. So Dale and I from ClaimingFreedom.com, check us out, listen to our podcast, are here to present the best dancer of uh, Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party. I, I have a little beer back in the back while, <laughs> while serving you. Here's Dale. All right, folks, so I think we're going to call this the most inspiring dancer. Actually, that's cool, I do. So we've been super busy. That's so gay. It's really gay, yes. So we've been very busy serving drinks back there. I hope we're doing an okay job. We're not bartenders by trade. Uh, but you guys have been very generous with the tips and donations to the Free State Project. We are very grateful for that. This is that money is going to help them do a good pork fest next year, pork fest next year, and everything. So, um, but word around the dance floor is that one person in particular was really inspiring with their dancing. So we're going to give an award on behalf of Flaming Freedom to Claire. <laughs> If you don't know what Santorum is, by the way, look it up on Urban Dictionary. It's hilarious. All right, Claire. For the Best Answer Award, we give you a fancy fancy gift card to Target. <laughs> Visa card. Okay, nice. All right, um, I need you guys' help because it's time to uh, get back to what we were doing, and we're gonna kick it up. Thank you. 
a little taste of the gay. <laughs> VIP tent. So now I'm going to take you around to the pavilion building, which is where most of the speakers take place and events like the um, soapbox idol and speakers and comedy shows and Mandrick is cooking this year. Mandrick.com, you can get baklava. slow right now because they're doing obviously a speaker and this is a big gay dance party so this is, uh, this building is normally hopping later at night so I'm gonna move on you can see obviously there's a bunch of things to choose from when you come to pork fest excuse me so what I'm gonna do now so I'm going to take you through a walk of Agra Valley. Well, you're going to have fun, and I'll see you in just a couple more days. So hopefully my video will keep going this time. I can get through every alley, unlike last year. So I'm taking a tour of Porkfest. I'm walking through. I tried to do it last year. I didn't get to everybody. You want to tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and what you got going on? Uh, basically, you're here at uh, the Liberty Tool Raffle Station. Okay. Where we're raffling off two Liberty Tools. Some All right. Silver and a bulletproof vest. Okay. Which I think is really exciting. Um, as well as. Right over here is Sons of Liberty Silver. All right. And uh, this is the newest product from Sons of Liberty Silver. In fact, it sold out on Wednesday. Oh, wow. And so I spent all day yesterday trying to find some silver so that I could, that someone would sell to me so I could go make more. And last night at 9 o'clock, I got some. I drove back. I worked all night and made these. And uh, they're really awesome. This is the newest product. It's Rebel Silver. I didn't ask for permission. And nice. I'm just doing it. Trying to get as close uh, as I can get here. So yesterday, two days ago, no, yesterday. Um, so, but the raffle. Oh, you on really camera? Awesome. No, thank you. Okay. But thank you for asking. No problem. And uh, we're really excited about all the. And then, furthermore, if you look to your right, is the Laconia Free Market. Okay, fantastic. This is a collaboration of all different types of, of items put together by people who just pay a portion to be part of a store. Okay. Very cool. So, I'll take a look around. Absolutely. Well, thank awesome. You. Thank you. Have a good one. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't realize that was
Hey, Damo, you want to talk a little bit about Laconia Free Market? I'm doing a walk, like an uncut walkthrough of Porkfest. Okay. So this is a 2013 edition. All right. All right, fantastic. So, well, basically here at Laconia Free Market, are you? I am. Yep. Great. It's uncut. <laughs> so basically here at Laconia Free Market, we uh, have let, we let the market speak. Sometimes when I say a, a sale is done, like the market has spoken. But there's a number of vendors here. They all pay a little bit flat rate to have us vend and provide a sales staff for them. And so. It's a way for us to make money because uh, we we're all we're able to offer a great rate by getting so many together uh, that everyone shares the benefit. So just a little way to be innovative without, like, you know, we don't have the ability to get all these items, but we did have the networking and the capability to arrange this, and everybody here is, is making money. And so it's a good sign of capitalism slash free market. So let me be totally unfair and ask, what are some interesting things? <laughs> interesting things? Well, we got the uh, silver jewelry, the silver... Uh, items that were okay, out front, yeah, so but that, we also yep. have our smokable section here, the firearms division, you know, Fantastic. some things that may not go hand in hand, but <laughs> sterling silver, silver jewelry, you know, the fashion, you know, basically arm hand jewelry, uh, some shire silver, oh, awesome. some electronical knickknacks <laughs> or forgettables, flip flops have been going, flashlights. Did you get, did you get, did you know, then you got the more popular things like the cop lock stuff that yeah. I, I found in <laughs> and uh, yep, the Bitcoin yep. boom going on I back wrecked there. cops. Here's one of the more <laughs> popular <laughs> items here at Pork Fest. Oh, nice. These, shiny badges. These shiny badges. And so yeah, they're obvious. numbered. You can get one. They'll be coming to coplock.org slash store soon. Awesome. And, uh, I'm badge number 002. Nice. But someone can be 058 by the end of the week. So. And shiny badges don't grant extra. And they do not grant. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Fantastic. On that That's Sorry. right. <laughs> awesome. Yes, Thank you. Thank you so much. Laconia yeah. Yeah. Awesome. See us in Laconia. Yes. Really Excellent. Like one of them was Texas. <laughs> I'll take a quick pass on the other there. side as well, just That's to look. The other stuff that they got. Looks like they got some like bath salts and soaps. All sorts of goodies. Some Bitcoin shirts. You know, actually, I'm going to keep going up the first aisle. Oh, no, this is the first aisle. Want to take some time? I'm going doing a walkthrough, talk a little bit about black collar politics. 20, I'm doing an uncut walkthrough of Porkfest 2013. You want to talk? Sure. Awesome. Hi. Uh, my name is Dave Dixon. Uh, this is my store, Black Collar Politics. Um, I, like to, I, I like to think that I appeal to uh, um, the uh, uh, the most uh, the lowest common do denominator of uh, libertarianism. Um, I'm here to make money, and okay. uh, awesome. And that's my thing. That's my move. So, do you want to explain any of your designs? Talk about some of your work. Uh, sure. Uh, most of my stuff has a kind of uh, punk rock appeal to it. Um, Excellent. Got a Pork Fest X shirt. For sure. Uh, cool. I tried to. Uh, get some kind of a uh, sense of uh, uniqueness and uh, maybe a little bit of uh, subtle art cred going on uh, nice. underneath. Um, I do all my stuff in Photoshop except for uh, I got some uh, sweaters that I hand paint. So do you draw, like you draw the drawings in Photoshop or are you doing like uh, pencil or pen work first and photographing it? Oh, I'm, uh, I do it all in Photoshop uh, from uh, scratch, from concept to uh, to be to end. Awesome. So, are you using like a tablet? Or are you uh, like mouse drawing? I guess is the only. I use a tablet. I awesome. use a uh, either a graphics tablet or um, a just uh, pressure sensitive display. Okay, very cool. Let's take a look at a couple more designs as I'm panning around. And I should also ask, do you have a website? Uh, yes, my uh, website is blackcollarpolitics.com, or you can hit me up on Facebook. It's just uh, look for Black Collar Politics. Awesome. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Good one.
I'll be uh, putting this up on uh, YouTube uh, slash FTL Johnson later. All right, I hope that wasn't too uh, boring. And no, it's good. Humbly. It's it's all uncut, so I'm just walking through. You know, it's just like what anybody can expect is they're just walking through if they want to come up and talk to people. All so, right. we're going. Thanks, Dave. Hey. I'm uh, doing a tour of uh, Porkfest, so I'm just going through and I do like an uncut tour. Do you want to talk for a, a bit on camera? Sure, sure. Awesome. So what do we have going on here? This uh, looks like the uh, Liberty Village project? Yeah, I'm actually, um, I just got here, so I'm a little, oh. what's going on, so <laughs> me. It, This is just an uncut tour. Just imagine I'm somebody coming up going, hey, what's this booth? Okay. You know? <laughs> so um, I can speak to what, what we are over here, though. Okay. Um, so oh, this okay. Is, this is uh, Spirits of 76, okay. and we're a new uh, national nonprofit organization. Okay. Uh, we are aiming to uh, spread. Spirits of 76 started in uh, Litchfield County, Connecticut. Okay. Um, we now have a chapter in Rhode Island. I'm the president of the Rhode Island chapter. Okay. Um, we have also expanded into Massachusetts and have new chapters opening up in Arizona and in uh, Chicago. Oh, fantastic. So uh, we're spreading basically all over the country. Our mission is community service, so we are aiming to um, to get people to step up in their communities and, and meet community needs um, so the government doesn't have to and so the government um, doesn't get involved in things that we as people awesome. um, have the power to take care of. So we're all about just kind of reinvigorating the spirit of community, mm -hmm. um, which has you know, led our country um, to, to greatness and um, which we really need to reinvigorate if we want to get off of uh, reliance on government. Okay. We believe that we have the power as people to step in our communities and meet those communities. Fantastic. So you're we just want to spread that. doing like out, you know, all sorts of outreach, and you guys see you got a copy, right. you know, copies of the uh, Declaration of Independence. Yeah. So we want to, you know, just kind of reinvigorate that spirit so that people understand, um, you know, what our country was founded on, and also understand that with um, with rights and with freedom comes responsibility. Right. Um, so we want people to step up and, and take responsibility for that. Fantastic. Thank you so much for talking Thanks to me. Thanks for stopping by. Good one. I would expect to find down there. Yeah, okay. I can't believe I would have John or Catherine, you want to talk on camera? I'm doing an uncut tour of Porkfest. Okay. So I'm just going basically, you know, I go up, you know, like essentially imagine I'm just a, you know, a newbie coming this? through. You want to record me talking to him? So I'm just like, you know, imagine I'm a newbie coming through and, uh, you know, just seeing what everything's all about. It wasn't about. crumpled up, it was just... Okay. Go. Buddy. It's uncut. It's uncut. uncut. So it's been uncut since I was all the way down at Buzz's Big Eight Inns So I'm just uncut and raw. Just imagine I'm just walking up and, you know, hey, what's going on? What are you guys all about? John Bush here. Uh, I guess it's my fourth pork fest. We've been coming up uh, with Catherine Bleich for the past four years. Uh, first year we were just dating, second year we were pregnant, third year we had Aliana, <laughs> and now we have our, our second child, William Lysander. And uh, this year we're actually filming an episode for Sovereign Living the Show uh, as an episode on alternative currencies. The show is essentially uh, following our family, our quest to become self-sufficient, lead a voluntary natural life. And uh, one of the areas of self-sufficiency and volunteerism is uh, alternative currencies and avoiding the Federal Reserve note. So we're here exploring uh, silver, Bitcoin, and uh, different mediums of exchange, trying to get a better grasp on what these concepts are all about, where the value lies in them, and uh, we're going to take it home and apply it down in Central Texas, trying to get some businesses to adopt Bitcoin, perhaps. So uh, yeah, we're having a good time. Fantastic. Working too. We got our booth here, like we always do. So what kind of stuff are you offering? We got uh, books from Brave New Books right over here. Okay. We got some uh, health products from Brave New Books. We got some jewelry there, made in Austin. We're doing a raffle for this Berkey water filter right here. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Antonio Beeler's here with Peaceful Streets Project, selling his shirts. We got some bumper stickers as well. This is his first port bed. Oh, very cool. So yeah, we're having a good time. Awesome. Do you want to talk a little bit, any bit about uh, the uh, Center for Natural Living? I know that's uh, another thing. Yeah, the Center for Natural Living is a 501c3 tax exempt organization. It started at the beginning of this year. The mission is to demonstrate the value of voluntary cooperation and natural living in the areas of sustainability, family, and health by creating educational media and helping families to fulfill their basic needs. And uh, we're doing a lot of philanthropy, doing uh, natural health education classes in low income neighborhoods buying at least 100 fluoride water filters and giving them to new or expecting mothers. 
Uh, the Sovereign Living Show is a project of the Center for Natural Living. So, uh, yeah, it's a great new organization, and uh, we're excited to introduce it to the world and, and introduce it to the New Hampshire crowd. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks. Good one. You too. Take it easy. So I'm doing an uncut walkthrough of Porkfest 2013. Do you want to talk to me at all? No. Okay. No problem. Thank okay, you. Okay, thanks. Folks are up at the cook-off, I'm sure. Welcome back. A lot of the food vendors are up doing the uh, cook-off this year. Some owl hats. Oh, Taryn is here. Taryn, you want to talk to me about all about your uh, your booth you got going on this year? I'm doing my uncut walkthrough again. Oh, I'd like to, but right now we are judging people for that. Oh, you're still, okay, you're judging. So, 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 so tell me about how the um, uh, the uh, one pot cook-off works. It is now like, what, 15 people? There's a list of all the sites. Oh, wow. You walk around to each site, they compete for fabulous prizes. <laughs> big money, big prizes. Big money, big prizes. I love it. And then uh, you rate Oh, I can't show you my ratings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I already saw them for ratings. So. Well, I'm not going to be releasing this video until after Porkfest anyway, so it should be uh, fun. And then I, I don't know how much the winner gets. I forgot. But I think last year Thunder Dave won, and the day the year before. He's probably going to win again this year. It's pretty good. Everything's more money. All right, All right so we're going to chomp. Yeah, absolutely. Try these guys. Enjoy. Thank you for taking the time. You bet. Is that rolling? I'm uncut and rolling, yes. <laughs> Here he is. So I'm doing an uncut walkthrough of Porkfest 2013. You want to talk to me? Okay, no problem. I'll see if I can swing back through. Yep. That's my problem. Oh, we don't have any way of getting it there. Uh so I'm, I'm doing an uncut walkthrough of Porkfest 2013. Do you want to be on camera and talk about your stuff a little bit? Sure, I'd love to. Awesome. I'll let you guys do that. Okay. Sure. So, uh, hey, do you want to stick closer together so we can both be in the frame? Okay. <laughs> so it's totally uncut. So just imagine I'm somebody just walking up and going, hey, what do you guys got going on here? What's, what's it all about? Hey, uh, so we're uh, Robert Barron Swag. We just started a couple months ago. We're okay. a philosophical apparel company. And uh, we have a few designs that we've come up with so far. Um, the one that uh, a lot of people have heard of is the Borders or Imaginary Lines t-shirts. We had a, a pretty popular Kickstarter that we, uh, where we were selling that design, and that's how we got the startup capital for our company. Um, we've also got a few graphics related to sort of our, our brand, the, the Robber Baron uh, brand. So we got these industrialist stickers. So what is the Robber Baron brand all about? Um, for us, it's about promoting using clothing and using graphics and stuff to promote philosophical values. So, um, you know, volunteerism and freedom are certainly very important uh, uh, values that we want to promote. Mm -hmm. And what we really want to do is we want to help our customers uh, promote, like, convey their values to other people, whether it's strangers on the street that they're hoping will, you know, ask about their t-shirt, oh, hey, borders are imaginary lines, that's a catchy graphic, like, what does that mean? You know, tell me about that. Right. Or if they're just like they're going to Park Fest and they they want to to say to other people like, hey, this is my value. Like, if you agree with this, you know, come come over and, and meet me and that kind of thing. And just helping people like just project their values out into the world. Um, and we're trying to do some things that people haven't done before. Like we have this new design that's uh, we're calling the Rainbow Rothbard design, <laughs> which is a, a crossover between volunteerism and the LGBT community and acceptance of that community. And we really haven't yep, seen I'm anyone. just coming up from Buzz's big gay dance party, so yeah. Right, right. So there are tons of people that totally support the LGBT community, but we don't have enough um, products, we don't have enough 
uh, graphics and stuff like that out there, images to show that there is this important connection between volunteerism and the LGBT community because volunteerism is the only political philosophy that really uh, supports the rights of the individual and of, of minorities, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that connection is really important. We want to help our customers let the world know about that connection, basically. And do so in style. I mean, I think that's another important thing. That's the swag part of our brand is we want to do, we want to elevate the level, the level of style in, in the freedom community as well. Awesome. Excellent. So do you want to talk to, uh, tell me a little bit about what the concept is, I guess, behind borders or imaginary lines? Like, I understand it, obviously, right. but, you know, maybe somebody watching this video is going to be new, completely new to Porkfest, new to these concepts. So I'd love to hear a little, you know, a few words about, um, you know, what that means. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if you take a, a look at our, our, our graphic, there's a map of North America and then the top part of, of South America. And then there are these little tanks that are, like, separating what would be some, some countries on there. And what we're, what we're basically saying with this message is, we live in a world where it's taken for granted that we have these things called nations and countries and, and governments and so forth. And we have this idea that if you cross a border from one country or state or whatever into another one, somehow magically like the, the properties of that land just sort of change. Um, you're in one jurisdiction and into another jurisdiction. There's all this legal jargon about how this, this change takes place. But it does not take place in reality. In reality, these are just a series of continents, and what is forming these lines is violence. It's police officers and, and the military and all the people that, that support this status apparatus that are actually forming these, these, violent, that these, these borders. It's violence that creates the borders. It's not geography or anything else like that. And so I think it's important that people recognize that and accept that, um, that th this is not reality, that we need to get rid of this violence and, and uh, form a society that's based on, on peace and cooperation and uh, you know, peaceful exchange and helping each other out. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. No problem. I hope Thank you guys you. have a great rest of the Thanks, you too. Thank you. Take care. Have a good one. So I'm doing an uncut tour walkthrough of Porkfest. Do you want to take some time and talk to us? Hi. So I'm doing an uncut tour walkthrough of Porkfest. Do you want to take some time to talk to me? It's totally uncut. I'm just walking through. Talk to me a little bit about stateless suites. Film your... Hello. So I'm just taking an uncut walkthrough. So uh, just basically talk to me like I'm someone coming up and going, "Hey, what do you got here?" <laughs> well, I make candy for uh, my Agris venture. I make uh, stateless sweets. Okay, fantastic. And, so, and, uh, what, do you, what are stateless sweets? It's basically candy that my grandmother has taught me to make, and then some recipes I've come up with, and. Uh, I am uh, selling it the agorist way, so I'm not asking state permission to sell it, and I'm not charging any taxes when people purchase it. So. Fantastic. It looks like you have some silver over here as well. Yep, absolutely. I'm Moggy Metals. I'm representing them a bit. So. Okay, fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time. You're welcome. Have a good day. Oh, actually, it's like the website. Yes. Statelesssweets.com. So there you go. Revolution Coffee. I don't think there's anybody manning the booth, but I got a coffee place going on. The juice caboose. Um, Beautiful. So it's busy, so I don't think I'm going to do it. Do you mind if I film you while you're... Sure, that'd be all right. Okay, cool. I'm just doing an uncut walk through a pork fest, so I'm just, uh, you know, seeing what everybody has going on. Cool. Do you want to take a couple seconds as you're making a smoothie and talk to me uh, about what the juice goes or Is this your guys' first uh, pork fest? It is, um, yes. Okay, yeah, fantastic. this is our second festival. Second festival, okay. Um, 
and uh, we just started a few weeks ago. My brother just built the trailer. Okay. So we're awesome. going to festivals around uh, New England. Okay. And um, everything's organic and awesome. mostly raw, vegan. Um, this is almond milk that um, I made this morning. Okay, awesome. And I'm making a avocado smoothie. Okay. And, Very cool. Uh, all right, yeah, it's good to go. Awesome. I'll watch the blending <laughs> process. <laughs> Thank you. This one has um, banana, mango, spinach, avocado, which is essential. Do you mind being on camera? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you mind being on camera? Oh, my. It's just an uncut. Okay, awesome. So this is your order? No. No? Oh. That's for him. Silly man. Do you mind being on camera? That's my order. That's yes, your order? You looking forward to it? I am. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, uncut walkthrough. Just imagine, yeah, you know, just some <laughs> walking around. Out. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Listen, it's just YouTube. <laughs> So I'm doing an uncut walkthrough. I'm just touring Porkfest. Do you want to say anything about NHLA? Sure. Be on camera? What do you want to know about New Hampshire Liberty Line? Anything. Just imagine that I'm somebody coming up and saying, hey, what's the stand? What's the NHLA? Because I'm just trying to do a kind of an uncut tour and just walk through as though I'm completely a new person to Porkfest. Okay. So the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is a nonpartisan, nonprofit, grassroots lobbying organization that pushes um, public policy in a pro-liberty direction. Okay, fantastic. Um, we do that through monitoring the bills that come through the legislature and rate them on how they impact your liberty, pro-liberty or anti-liberty. We'll go into committees and testify on pieces of legislation to either get a kill a bill in committee where it's most vulnerable or help get it passed. We then, when legislation goes to the full house, we present them with what we call our gold standard, our gold sheet, okay. that tells them how they will vote if they want to vote for liberty in the state. We're very well respected. Legislators will come out specifically to grab one of those from me and ignore other lobbyists standing there, um, which is a testament where you can look from the gallery down and see them holding the gold sheet and looking at what our recommendations are for people. Excellent. So you're really helping to keep them, keep not them accountable. Only, not keeping them accountable. Then we take the roll call votes and we rate them. And so we put out a report, report card every year. We have the copy there from 2012 mm -hmm. on how um, they support your liberty, liberty. So we have everything from an A plus to constitutional threats, dereliction of duty, mm -hmm. uh, individuals that didn't show up less than 30% of the time for their elected office. Right. Outside of that, we also recruit candidates for office and districts and help them run their campaigns, train them how to run their campaigns, teach them how things work at the State House. We give State House tours. Uh, we're all about pushing policy here in New Hampshire. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. You're welcome. Slip so your uh, sheet. Anytime. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a great day. Please feel free to take any of our, sure. um, our brochure as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah. Johnson, I'm drunk from the dance party. Dude, come along. <laughs> it's my tour. No, it's you know uncut. What? Somebody said they really like that. Yeah. Canadian. Yes. Yeah, he also knew like a creepy amount about me. Oh, was that the really, really <laughs> gay Canadian guy? And I'm not talking about Claire. <laughs> this is uncut. <laughs> So this well, he gay because walker. his name was Terrence, which is great. Oh, no, it's, it's not the one I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, that's great. And you said Rocky Road, right? Yeah. So, uh, Amanda, the weapon would be for you to go to the bathroom because they're scary? Yeah, just to fight off the other customers. You know? Oh, okay. You'd okay. be like, my ice cream. The U.S. Department of Ice Cream. And then they'll be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the bathrooms are broken. Yeah, that's my understanding. I don't know. I've never gone out of my way to use them. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Apparently, that's right. she took a break for the dance party. <laughs> Fantastic. Silver Circle, SilverCircle.com, their movie. 
collected on DVD. An animated tale about the rise of fiat currency and then the rise of, well, actually, the fall, I guess, the fall of fiat currency as the rebels start using silver, silver circles. <laughs> So I'm doing my uncut uh, tour or walkthrough of Porkfest. Does anybody want to talk to me about Satoshi Dice or coin a pole? No? <laughs> no? Okay. All right. I'll keep going. Thank Sorry. you. Technically, I'm an intern for... Do you want to? I don't know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hired in, in, in a drunken state. But, uh... I think that you go on camera and say exactly that. <laughs> well, it's uncut, so you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep going. Thank you. So I'm, I'm doing an uncut walkthrough of uh, Porkfest 2013. Do, do you want to talk to me a little bit about free aid? Um, sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, you got me when I'm eating popcorn, which is a great time. Oh, it's, no, it's uncut, so imagine that I'm just like a random person just walking through and... Um, okay, hi, random yeah. person walking through. <laughs> um, we are free aid. We're a bunch of volunteer, medical volunteers, generally professionals. I mean, I'm a paramedic. Um, I'm an EMT here as well. We've got other paramedics, EMTs, nurses, folks. We all come, and basically what we do is we... Um, provide medical assistance for people who need it. We've got, I mean, we've got suntan lotion and stuff like that as well. We've got anti itch cream. We've got various uh, medical supplies in case we have traumas or other such things like that. We, uh, have you had any traumas or other such things like that? <laughs> we've, we've had some things. I mean, I think the worst thing we've had is a seizure, which that gentleman ended up being uh, transported to a hospital. But, I mean, yeah, we've had a... We've had some burns, some sunburns, some actual other burns as well. We've had various scrapes and bruises and things right. like that. Relatively sort of incident-free. Yeah, for the most part so far. I mean, it is it is relatively early. We haven't gotten to Saturday yet, and we haven't gotten to Friday night yet. So right. I'm sure we're going to get a lot more. But, uh, but yeah, we, uh, we're all volunteers. I mean, we rely on donations to get us the money to buy all of this stuff. But we tend to to do what we can. I mean, we're also here. We can check people's vitals if they need that type of thing. Right. Uh, Teresa, who's in charge of the group, she does a, a few CPR sessions uh, during the week. She did one yesterday, one today, and she's doing another one tomorrow. Okay. As well. So, it's a, CPR is a great thing for everybody to learn. Right. It's something I think everyone should know. So. Very good. Um, Thank you. All right. I'm going to just take a quick tour and see, show, you know, like all the stuff that you're providing. Yeah, go for it. Awesome. Thank you. We're also on call all night in case something crazy happens. Too. Yeah, like if anybody's it's drunk, passed out, yeah. face down somewhere. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. They got band aids, anti itch cream, all that stuff, sunscreen, which I actually utilized earlier today. So, all the backup stuff that would be needed. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now what that booth is looks like some sort of photography. You guys selling stuff? Grass fed revolution. Do you want to talk to me? I'm doing an uncut. <laughs> Whoa! Hello! 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 Hey, Addy, come here, bro. Come here. Hey, sit down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course we talk to you. Hey, Tyler. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Nice. Okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. What do you oh. be so vocal for? Oh. oh, you're protective. You're very protective. <laughs> hey, hey. He's yawning Come now. Here. <laughs> Come here, bud. Hey. It's all right. So, what do you have going on here? It's just my. Uh, uh, this is Grass Fed Revolution. Um, I don't know. 
I'm from Philly. We just serve uh, things from local local farms, all grass-fed products. Okay. Awesome. So, trying to get healthier things out there, people. Do you guys have like a website or anything? Are you doing any of that, no, or is it's it all local? Soon. Um, awesome. I'm just starting this in Philly. This is actually my first run at it. Um, is this your first pork fest? My first pork fest. Oh, awesome. Yeah. What do you think yeah. so far? It, it's incredible. I've been here since Sunday. Awesome. And, um, <laughs> Awesome people from all around the world. My, my dog's a little flipped out, but other than that, he's protective. Hello. Hey, everybody's friends. Buddy. Addy, come on. Relax, bud. Come on. He's just a barker. <laughs> he is. He's vocal. He's been nervous. Yeah. He's been nervous. He There's a lot of people like, here. You know, like I could understand if he's, you know. But that's cool. Thank yeah, you. Thank Good you for taking time talking to me. Are you awesome. cooking anything? Yeah. Would you like something? Oh, all right. I'll capture this. <laughs> I'm just sort of walking around. So let's see. What do you got cooking? Let's see what you're getting. Do you mind being, do you mind being on camera at all? No. Awesome. I want your sausage with mixed vegetable, please. You can do that. And uh, I love how you roast your vegetables. Thank you, thank you. Cauliflower. Fantastic. Brussels sprouts, all nicely roasted. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. I got chicken right now. I think I might have a couple pork. But uh, I could throw beef sausage on for you if you want. Uh, give me what you think is the best. And All right. I'll work from there. The chicken's awesome, unless you want the uh, chip beef steak. That's good chicken. Uh, I'll try the chip beef. It, it's like uh, Philly steak style. I'm really here for, just for your vegetables. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks, guys. No problem. Appreciate it. Looks like this is the cook off. You're allowed to take a stab. Yeah, take a stab. I told him about it. I said, I said, I could watch it. They're off judging. Come on, chefs, come on up here. You can put them here for the one, three, four. Again, remember, all these different things are all going on at the same time. Uh, I'm going to take a look at some of this. Take a look. Oh, some of this stuff smells really good. Hello. So I'm doing an uncut tour of Porkfest 2013. I want to say a few words about the uh, one pot cook off. Sure, the one yeah, pot cook off was pretty good. Uh, a lot of people put a lot of good work into uh, what they did, and uh, they're very generous. And I got a free beer out of it. And uh, <laughs> in a true agorist uh, a community, you're allowed to bribe your judges <laughs> as, as you see fit. So uh, I didn't influence my voting. Maybe it influenced other people's voting. But you know, it was good. And uh, I've already been down to the Buzz's Bigger Day dance party, so we can explain the makeup. <laughs> yes, yes. I like but you know what? If I was going to dress like this, I totally would be I would totally accept. Everybody's cool. So. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, really good, delicious food, lots of variety. Like, you've got everything from. Anything interesting, or should I say hush hush? <laughs> hush hush. We're well, still around all the chefs. We <laughs> still are around all the chefs. Well, I like that you can get anything from chili to just like plain food in, in itself on there. So, that's what we have as far as like. Hush, hush, kind of food. And we've got the bribery of the beer. I mean, you can't, you know, that can't be any more hush than it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've right. already turned in my vote, so. Oh, all right, fantastic. Yeah, I caught Taryn on his way down as he was still doing his judging, so. Okay, cool, cool. Fantastic. All right, thank you. I'm gonna keep walking. That's right. That's right. Did you go around on it? Yeah. Yeah, did you enjoy it? Okay, that was one aisle of Agra Valley. So now I'm gonna go down aisle two. Davi, Davi, do you wanna be on camera? I'm doing my uncut 2013 tour of Porkfest. Sure. So treat me like I've never been to Porkfest before and I'm coming up and I'm going, 
What's a Bitcoin? What's, what are these shirts? <laughs> are we recording? I am. I'm uncut, so I'm, I've been live uncut. for about an hour now almost. <laughs> okay, so it's just a big long feed. Well, it's just a big long feed. People can skip around. This is around, uh, Bitcoin want. Not Bombs, is my organization. We're essentially a launching pad for nonprofit organizations that are new to the Bitcoin community. So we run uh, fundraising campaigns for nonprofit organizations. And then we also we partner them with commercial clients that accept Bitcoin so they never have to go back to dollars. So, for example, we just finished a fundraising campaign for Free Aid, Antiwar.com, and the Free State Project, and then we partner them with groups like Mass Appeal Inc. because they're the only they're the only screen printer we've found that takes Bitcoin. Oh wow! So now okay. they can they can take the Bitcoin donations they've gotten rather than cashing out for dollars. They can go and now do they do pens and shot glasses. This company will essentially anything you can put a logo on. These guys will do it. So you, don't, so you don't need dollars anymore. So. Um, Essentially, we're here. This is all kind of promotional. Like the next campaign we're doing is the cop block badges. If you okay. want to take a look, there, yeah, right sure. Over here. I actually did see one. A, a demo was showing me one off earlier when I was down at the uh, Laconia Free Market. Yeah. So essentially, the partnership going on here is ShinyBadges.com is uh, the company that does all these lapel pins you've been seeing around. They manufacture the uh, cop block police badge as a fundraising effort for cop block, and then on top of that. Um, you can see some of the bad I mean, all of the badges, they're individually numbered. So um, we're going to take number 420 and we're going to auction it off as a fundraiser for Rich nice. Paul. Nice. So you can see we're sort of, we're, we're putting our commercial clients and our nonprofit clients together, trying to get people off the dollar, trying to essentially, you know, we're going to use Bitcoin to change the world. Awesome. I'm going to take a, let me take a look at some of the other stuff that you got, some sure. of the other designs you got here. If you want to talk about it, Ava. Yeah, I mean, these are the lapel pins that Shiny Badges does. You can see there's mostly like agorist, voluntary sorts of themes. There's like the Shire Society pin, stuff like that. This is just an ounce of silver circle. Someone paid me with that. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, then you can see like the shot glasses. This is something that we did this year. Oh, very uh, cool. Drew's down at um, Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party selling mm -hmm. shot glasses. So. Uh, but you can see Mass Appeal does anything, you know, like yeah. bottle openers, you can put your logo on a pack of gum, awesome. flashlight, pens. Sweet. You got some silver dime cards for sale over there. Yeah, that's Drew's right? project, Don't Tread yeah. on Meme. Awesome. So, you know, like in the future, everybody here's got a promotional product. Everybody here's screen printing t-shirts. So all these people are accepting Bitcoin. Why should they have to cash out? Why wouldn't they just come and spend them again. So I actually went by both uh, the Satoshi Dice and the um, Coinopult booth and no one was there re ready, prepared to speak to me. Uh -huh. Do you want to talk a little bit about Bitcoin and uh, what, uh, you know, who, who is Satoshi Nakamura? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of theories numerous. about who Satoshi Nakamoto is. The orthodox view is that he's a Japanese computer programmer. Mm -hmm. uh, but some other people think that he's a waitress in L.A. Uh, and some other people <laughs> think that he's, uh, I suppose she is a waitress in L.A. Sure. I've heard rumors that it was a Somali guy. But I personally subscribe to the theory that uh, he's a reptile from the planet Nibiru <laughs> and that he's part of an alien invasion designed to get humans to give up gold. Uh, so that's my favorite theory. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, Bitcoin is uh, it's the, it's the world's first and most popular decentralized digital currency. You know, I have clients in Tokyo and in Japan, or in Tokyo and in Hong Kong now, who I can chat with on Facebook and send money instantaneously and I don't have to fill out any paperwork or deal with any banks. Awesome. So that's not something that was possible for me three years ago. Right. So, I mean, it is going to change the world. Uh, I like to say, I'm sure you've heard this expression, uh, if goods don't cross borders, soldiers will. Mm -hmm. Well, if the state can't prevent goods from crossing borders, soldiers can't. Right. Good call. That's awesome. That's very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Sure. And uh, is there any uh, website you want to plug for any of this stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, Mass Appeal Inc. is the sponsor of the site. So, I mean, they're definitely, they should get a shout out. But we're BitcoinNotBombs.com. Okay. So that's where you're going to find links to everything else that we do and, and, and sort of all the campaigns that we're running. Thank you so much, Javi. Yeah, sure. Taking time. Have, Have a good time. Walking on. Thanks. So I'm doing an uncut walkthrough of Porkfest 2013. Does anybody want to talk to me? No? Good. Sure. Yeah? Okay, awesome. So what is the Lucky Booth Lounge? What do we got going on? Uh, well, it's just a lounge where we all uh, <laughs> sit around and talk and 
Okay. Maybe awesome. have a few drinks. Awesome. And is this uh, your first pork fest? It is mine. Is yours? Awesome. And how are you liking it so far? Uh, it's, it's one of the uh, coolest yeah, things I've been to. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So what, I guess, what was the emphasis? Uh, is, uh, who's running the Lucky Boot? Who, whose establishment? <laughs> Who, yeah. Whose establishment who's is this? Who's responsible here? temporarily holding down the fort. Uh, yeah. But uh, my, my good friend uh, Damon is, is uh, off finding uh, party goers and trying to provide them with some refreshment. So I'm, I'm holding down the fort here for a minute. Okay. Uh, well, awesome. will be back hopefully in the next 15, 20 minutes. Do you want to talk to me at all? Or tell, tell me a little bit like about this? Yeah, he's doing a currency exchange and has a couple of... Uh, things going on so i'm sure he'd love to talk to you when he comes back okay out. well if I'll, I'll try and swing back around but uh thank you so yeah, much we'll be awesome, awesome thanks have you done this another year yes i have yep when, like 2012, 2012 yeah yeah so and some people came up to me and they were telling me that they really like enjoyed it because it's essentially i'm just walking through and seeing like what anybody could see you just walk through and you know go up and talk to people and say hey What's going on? <laughs> and, uh, awesome. you know, it's just uncut, so people yeah. are like, uh, I don't know, did I do all right? Okay. <laughs> so where can we find so, your video? Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm uh, video. FTL Johnson on YouTube. Let me say something to the camera. Sure. <laughs> Pork Fest this year is off the hook. This awesome. Is the best party ever. I fucking <laughs> love this festival, man. There's so many cool people here. Parties everywhere. Fucking playing around in the field, running around, going to these different fucking... Seances and shit, crazy what? shit. Yeah. <laughs> crazy fucking. <laughs> so, craziest people here. Uh, so, if you're wondering if you should come to Quark Fest, what do you have to say to these people if definitely. they're thinking about it? Like, uh, I don't if you're know. If you in the Free State Project at all, you need to go to Pork Fest. Uh, that's, and then I'll settle your decision. Yeah, it's like, why have you come to Pork Fest? <laughs> Where <laughs> are you? All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Actually, that's one of my flag designs. Yay! The Agra Seed Exchange. Does not look like anybody's here. So I'm doing an uncut tour of Pork Fest 2013. Do you want to take any time to talk to me? Um, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I'm looking for the name of your movie. <laughs> it's, it's, um, if you want, like, a shot of the poster, it's sure. right yeah. there. Okay, live through your It's cry. also on the shirt. Awesome. So, what are you doing here? This is, imagine I'm somebody who has oh. not, never been to Park Quest oh, before, really? and I'm just coming up, and I'm oh, like, oh. hey, what do you have going on here? What is this stuff? This is... This is <laughs> I've had a lot of dogs barking at me. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> the dogs are very curious. <laughs> There's no take. It's uncut. So just imagine it's like, ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> is he okay if I go over and pet him to quiet him down? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. She's very friendly. She's just like... Yeah, I'm totally not afraid. I know dogs. Hello! Hi! Hello! Hi! Okay. Okay. Like, what is this big thing you're holding? <laughs> Alright. Thank you for weighing in with your two cents. <laughs> People will be able to skip around in the video. So. Okay, good. Um, so this is um, live free or cry. Okay. And we have items for Liberty Babies and their moms and dads. Okay. Um, and these kids as well. Okay. So, you know, babies should be able to support their freedom too. <laughs> Excellent. So um, that's cool. Um, I am a birth doula, okay. and one of the main things that I do is I help families stand up for their own birth choices, okay. and unfortunately we have to stand up against the medical system that's out there, so I feel really passionate about giving families information and empowering them to... So do you want to talk a little decisions. bit more about what a doula is for people who don't know? Absolutely. Or... Many people don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. A doula is a birth assistant, so mm -hmm. I support 
We support families um, prenatally by providing information and practicing different techniques to manage comfort during labor. And um, then during labor and delivery, we provide physical comfort measures, emotional support. We are that person that they know and trust that's there with them for the entire thing start to finish. Um, and then postnatally, we also um, provide them support by processing the experience, <laughs> making sure everything is going well with their new baby and connecting them with any help they might need. Okay. So, um, you know, we help families avoid unnecessary medical interventions and just have the experience that they want, which can be hard to do when you're on your own. Very cool. And so I guess what sort of, you know, I know you're saying you had to, you have to fight the medical system. So what mm -hmm. sorts of things um, have you had to go through, I guess, in terms of battling with the medical system? Sure. Um, well, my clients mostly have gone through. I had a very good experience myself, but um, many people have to fight things that are done purely for doctor convenience. Mm -hmm. And... They're presented to families in a way that scares them, so there's definitely a fear tactic at play. Um, they'll tell you, you know, you're putting your baby in danger if you don't go for a C-section this minute. And what's a new parent to do? They don't want to endanger right. their baby. But right. the other side of the story is not presented, in which it's very dangerous also to go for a cesarean. Mm -hmm. So that's one example. Um, other medical interventions, um, such as narcotics for pain or epidurals, not that there's anything wrong if people decide that that's what they want, but it should be the parent's decision. It shouldn't right. be the doctor's decision. Yeah. Um, and then there's a lot of newborn procedures that um, are just presented as, we're going to do this to your baby now. And yes. a parent needs to know what each of those things are and be able to say yes, okay, or no, thank you, and right. be respected for whatever their answer is. And be given a choice and control uh -huh. over, you know, their right. own body and, the, you know, their for, child. Exactly. Yeah. Birth is about a woman's body and a baby's body. And, you know, some mothers will ask to not have an episiotomy, which is kind of an uncomfortable term, especially for men, but basically they... They cut below the vagina to make the, the opening bigger for yeah. the baby to come through. And I know moms who have said, no, I don't want an episiotomy. And the doctor says, I'm doing it anyway. And they snip her body yeah. while she's at her most vulnerable. So helping families avoid that kind of thing right. is yep. what I try to do. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. <laughs> Howdy, howdy. You're doing a little off road on your TV. Thank you, Rob. We've been doing a little off road on your TV. Wow. You make it feel good. You just roll it. Oh, you're doing a little off road on your TV. Is he on the school bus? Unschooling. So a lot of people are not actually at the uh, their sites. Big Alice French fries. Oh, no. Pencils. He'll talk to me. <laughs> Question for you. After you're done making your pretzel, I'm doing an uncut tour walkthrough of Porkfest 2013, and I'm wondering when you're done if you want to uh, if you want to take, take a couple minutes to talk to me. Um, 
If you want to be on camera, essentially, is the question. Yeah, have, have the boss, the owner, or prefer him to be on camera. Okay, I would prefer him to be on camera. He would probably prefer him. He should be back momentarily. Okay, I'll see if I can cool. swing back by. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Probably not gonna be able to make it to every single booth just because you know some people are not at their booth or the owner is not there and they don't want to necessarily talk. But um I'm getting tired, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to go back and swing by every booth, but um I'll do my best here. So since there's some dogs. The nervous system, I'm not sure what that is, maybe a massage booth or something. Looks like they got some quilts. Available. And coffee. <laughs> Do you run in this business? Uh, she is. Do you want to take, I'm doing an uncut tour of Porkfest 2013. You want to talk to me on camera? Uh, I'm dressed for the big gay dance party. Doesn't matter, I've already explained that part. <laughs> This is basically, actually, the more candid it is, the better, because it's basically an uncut walkthrough. Okay. So I'm just going around from booth to booth. Just imagine like I'm a new person, new at Porkfest, going, hey, what, what do you guys have here, you know? Nice. Well, it's uncut, so just go ahead. First of all, I am dressed for the Fiki dance party, yeah. which, which is a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> um, I make quilts to sell. Excellent. So how did you get started making quilts? How did I get started? Uh, basically, um, I started making a quilt for a friend of mine who was having a baby any day now. Okay. And about that same time I started that, I called to make my reservations and found out there was no double wide tent sites and I was going to be here in a Gore Valley. Mm -hmm. And I thought I should make some porcupine quilts for pork press. So that one actually is appropriate for today. It's upside down on this side, but it's a double rainbow. Okay. <laughs> in honor of Buzz's big gay dance party. Awesome. So here I'll try and get it down. Double no, rainbow I pinned all it. the way. I have pinned <laughs> it. So get the other side. Excellent. Very cool. Thank you. It was fun to make. I love the colors. And yeah, it's obvious. Uh, then that one, I have my rainbow piece. And this one is also um, purple for um, Friday. Um, Peace day. Uh, yes. Awesome. And this one has a hidden porcupine, which nobody can ever find until I point it out. <laughs> I'm looking, I see a peace symbol. Okay, so and that one's the peace symbol, yeah? No, I actually see a peace symbol on this one as well. Really? No. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's peace, peace fabric in there. Yeah. So, just for the sake of sparing you, I'll point out the point. <laughs> he is right here. Oh, cool. Okay. And then this, this one, of course, there's a peace sign right, uh, right there. Oh, very cool. Oh, okay, now I see. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, awesome. This one here, um, I'm raffling off. Can I come over and take a look? I walked around with it just a little bit today. And so do you offer these, uh, I guess, online, or do you have a website or anything? Where I'm somebody just can find you starting, so okay. I'm just kicking my business off. Right. Um, I have two, a few people here. Um, I've been introduced to, uh, you know, acquaintances um, on the web that can get me started with right. a, a web page. And Very cool. So, yeah.
Very cool. So that's what I got. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you. And have a wonderful rest of Pork Fest. Thank you. Are you Johnson? I am. <laughs> I recognize your voice. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. I, I got to catch up with you uh, sometime because I, I paid for one of the shirts. Yep, and I, I have those shirts, so we'll have to talk sometime tonight. I'm going to be uh, like on the, the like Freedom Feud tonight, so yeah. I'll probably just I'll have them all day tomorrow. I'll have them. Yeah. Well. Okay, so, so I just know to catch up. With yep, you. I will. And my my boots see the the second black and yellow tent right over there. All right, great. <laughs> okay, Thank you. Looks through the light, the fabric blowing. See, now this is also very cool. This is not something you would ordinarily see at a festival. So, this booth has basically been, for the most part, completely unmanned. And they just put out, uh, you know, the lemonade and tea and fruit punch, and I think some coffee. And they have a tip jar pay, you know, the prices or whatever, just throw money in, be on your way, which is pretty incredible. Uh, Hunter's Fire and Ice, um, Firewood, so again, same thing, so this is all Hunter, okay, he expanded, so he used to do, I think he used to do just Fire and Ice, um, but this year, he's accepting Bitcoins, so... You could tip him probably off of this video <laughs> if you wanted to. Uh, but uh, yeah, so pretty cool. He's selling, you know, you can just come up and get fire, you know, firewood and ice. You're on your way. Oh, Hunter, do you want to talk to me? I'm uh, doing an uncut tour of Pork Fest 2013. So I was just talking about your business as I was walking through. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I know what's going on, but if you want to tell me a little bit about what you got going on. Uh, this year, uh, 2013, we have three locations. Uh, Laconia Free oh, wow. Market. Okay. Uh, awesome. Here at my site and up at Old Expo. Okay. And uh, we have the freezers there. Mm -hmm. As well as the drinks and the Pork Fest commemorative, commemorative mark. So I was explaining the honor system so far. So how's that been, how's that been working out? Uh, as far as I cool. know, well. Awesome. I, I mean, I don't know what some people do in the night. <laughs> right. For the most part, um... I've noticed, yeah, almost everybody puts in a buck, and I was looking at Bitcoin last night, and the same thing there. Awesome. Yeah, I was saying, I was laughing as I came up and I was doing the video. I'm like, you know, you probably just tip him off right off the video, because <laughs> you've got such the the, uh, the big, huge uh, QR code right there to uh, to do the stuff. So, I mean, have the sales been good this year? Has it been working out? I mean, yeah, I know there's good. a lot of people. My ice guy was just here yesterday, and we're our already out of 20 pound bags again. oh wow yeah. wow so you're just going you know going through it fast so you have essentially you have uh, somebody come and help deliver you know deliver ice during the day or whatnot yeah they're his machines and he okay. builds them every few days oh awesome very cool well thank you so much for taking the time thank to talk you. to me have a good day tattoo interesting i don't know who's doing tattoos this year but there's a tattoo place in a band. Band set up. Ask me about peace. Oh, okay. Reiki, massage, and tattoo. Interesting. I believe that's a, a like a henna tattoo place. Angel Clark and Corey Moore, famous from the radio, and other things, doing some sort of coffee booth, like probably also at the gay big, day, gay, big, duh, big gay dance party. Um, oh, I already did the seat exchange. So it looks like I've walked through a few Alleys now. Let me try one more. Let's see what we got going on over here. Oh. 
Grafton no, Pavilion. But I do with the peppers. And I dump some of the eggplants because I'm trying them for the first time this year. And I know it's like that's the riskiest thing I'm growing this year. Yeah. Um, very prone old. to uh, viral uh, fungus attacks. So you well, got to be careful with eggplants. It, it, I'm not growing them in my shady small okay. yard. They're they're in uh, my friends in Hooks that have a yard. So we built a bunch of small raised sugar culture beds in a nice sunny exposure. But it's soil all there. They have no top soil. So it's a lot. We, you, you know, the 41 by 47 foot garden got 10 yards of compost. Just in the rain says. So we'll see how it does. And then I'm doing foliar feeds just because the soil is so crappy and the weather's been so nuts. So, so I have a question for you guys. So I'm doing an uncut tour of uh, Porkfest 2013, and I'm wondering if anybody wants to talk to me about grafting or anything that's fun. No? Okay. Sure, I can talk about grafting. You want to talk about grafting? Sure. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> So just imagine I'm somebody who's just sort of walking through, uh, never been to Porkfest before, and because this is just going up on YouTube, and I'm just walking through Porkfest and seeing, you know, just imagine I'm walking up to your booth and, you know, just talk to me. Okay. <laughs> What would you like to know about Grafton? I gotta, I gotta go well, uh, I guess, uh, what is, what's it like to live in Grafton? I mean, uh, what's, what are the benefits of Grafton over other areas of New Hampshire? Well, Grafton is a rural community. And one of the things uh, about a rural community, you, you, you have to tend to be more self-sufficient. Okay. But we do have BSL, so if you need high-speed internet, you have that. Uh, we have no cell service in, in Grafton, wow. per se. Okay. But I think the... Advantages. Uh, we also have elected police chief. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no zoning. Okay. We have no building wow. inspector. So if you're into alternative housing, Grafton is a place where you want to buy a piece of land and actually uh, experiment. Right. I'm the fire chief there, and we don't even do uh, uh, building occupancy. You occupy the building at at your own risk. So when you say like experimental housing, you're talking about things like maybe uh, the first thing that springs Earthship. to my mind is Earthship. Yep, okay, fantastic. Okay, uh, there are many people in uh, Grafton who built their own homes. They'll mm -hmm. build the basement one year when they save them enough money three or four years down the road, they'll build the next thing. You mm -hmm. can't do that in a regular town because they right. want certificate of occupancy. We don't issue those in Grafton, so uh, you live in your own place, and any in New Hampshire, any owner can live in their own place. We don't have building inspection, so basically, your wiring, you assume the risk for your own house. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. That's awesome. It's uh, very interesting that you know you can be that there's a place where you can be that self-sufficient. So that's that's awesome. Okay, great. Thank you. You welcome. Are you moving to New Hampshire? I actually uh, have already made the move. I now live in Keene. So yeah, yeah. I just moved in uh, September. Excellent. So yeah, very cool. Excellent. Welcome to New Hampshire. Thank Welcome you so much. Yes. Very cool. Uh, who else? I don't know if that's the loop. Let's see. So something else is going on here. Tea salon. So I'm starting to get back into some of the campsites. In the game. You want to talk about puke in the gang? I'm doing my uncut tour of Porkfest 2013, so I'm doing a walkthrough. Uncut? It's uncut. It's okay. one long take. Are you still recording? I am still recording, Great. so I'm asking you okay. right now whether or not you want to be on, and then I'll turn the camera no towards cut. you. No cut. cut. PukeInTheGang.com is our official... I won't pan the camera towards you. <laughs> so who's going to watch the un who's going to watch the uncut? Whoever. Uh, so you know what? I've had a lot of people come up to me and talk to me about my last year's version, which was uh, an hour long. This one's probably approaching an hour and a half So right it's now. going on the app, the YouTube. Yes, it is going on the YouTube. Uncut. Yes. You're just walking around with that camera. Yes, Were correct. Were you recording at the Big Gay Dance Party? I was, yes. There was some Big Gay Dance Party recorded. Anyway, <laughs> so we're doing Puke in the Gang, a podcast tomorrow in this tent. We uh, aren't like most podcasts that plan or anything <laughs> like that and got a spot at the media room. So we're just doing it under the tent. 
And so that should be good. Puke and the Gang is a show that really doesn't follow the norms of other shows. It doesn't, like, talk about the latest news story in the Liberty community. It really just talks about how crappy the last week of the host's <laughs> life or lives were. So that's basically the show. Nobody on Site 92. So you've been here at Porkfest for the last week, so how crappy has your life been? <laughs> this is the best week of my life. Excellent. Uh, but... Nobody under this tent is really fit to be talking about anything because we just came back from that gay dance party that apparently Johnson was recording at. And I got my box of Fruity Red Sting. And you have been consistently carrying this glass of wine all around Fort Fest that's for the my, entire time you've been here, essentially. That's my bit. As I walk around with a glass of wine, nobody knows it's plastic. Everyone thinks it's glass. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know either. That's a very uh, it's convincing. It's plastic. <laughs> does not make any glass noises whatsoever. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Have fun with your right. uncut version of pork fest. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Car alarm going off. That's actually a fairly rare occurrence, luckily. Snake hound sound machine. Wicked weaponry, USA. Let's see if they want to talk to me. So, I've got a question. Yes. I am doing an uncut walkthrough tour of Porkfest. Yes. I'm wondering if anybody wants to talk to me. Uh, Owen Wilson does. What are you doing? I'm doing an uncut walkthrough of Porkfest where essentially I turn my camera on, I turn it on to the bottom of the hill, I've been walking around, I'm about an hour in, and uh, I just kind of give people an idea of what they'll see if they walk through Porkfest. I'm wondering if anybody wants to talk to me. So essentially just imagine that I am... He wants to know. Watch out. Look at just, he wants to just say, hey, how you doing? Let yeah, exactly. Know, um, just imagine I'm somebody who like, comes walking up and said, hey, what do you got going on here? And, you know, they've never Absolutely. been to Porkfest before. Let me get in position. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's uncut, so totally informal, whatever. Fantastic. There we go. Cool stuff. So what am I looking at? Uh, this is a custom very AK-47, custom. <laughs> very custom AK-47 from Snake Down Machine. <laughs> wow, that is extremely custom. <laughs> yep. Um, we're, uh, we're a shop located in uh, Hooks at New Hampshire. Okay. And we've been, we moved up here from uh, Arkansas, actually, in 2012. Okay, awesome. And we've been... In Hooks, New Hampshire, for over a year now, and we build the finest handcrafted custom firearms anywhere. And that's what we do. We do lots of specialty pieces, lots of one offs, and very, you know, hand built custom stuff. That we do uh, high quality craftsmanship and not a lot of volume. Awesome. I mean, yeah, it's very clear. You craftsmanship here. So what other kind of stuff? I see so you also do some patches and you. We got a few patches, some t-shirts, some swag stuff or whatever, but um, it's just little stuff. Mostly, you know, we do is uh, firearms. That's what we do. So is this your first uh, year at Porkfest? This is our second Porkfest. Second Porkfest. Okay, awesome. And what are your thoughts so far? Been... Um, it's good. It's bigger than last year. Yeah. Last year, everywhere I went, I saw people I knew. Mm -hmm. And this year, it seems like... It's all new people. It's much bigger than last year. Lots, yeah. lots and lots of new people who are here for the first time this year. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of new people here this year, but it's fantastic. So, I guess, what would you say is your best thing, best experience here so far? Um, we had, a, we had, we had, we. I taught a class on Wednesday that was a lot of fun. We did a, a personal self-defense class. Awesome. We had a, about a little over ten people show up. We had an awesome time. And then, um, I'm really looking forward to the shoot that we're hosting tomorrow. We held one last year. This year it's going to be bigger, it's more organized. We have a lot of custom guns that people will be able to shoot. Right. And we're going to do that tomorrow. That's what are I'm you looking doing, forward to the most. I guess I'm uh, thinking, like, what kind of questions do people ask? Where, uh, so I guess, where is the shoot? Is it, you know, somewhere off site? Um, like, like this year there are th actually three different shoots. There's mm -hmm. the uh, SAS, Second Amendment Sisters Family shoot mm -hmm. on Wednesday. And then today was the newbie shoot, which okay. is at every year event. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the advanced shoot or the AK shoot is tomorrow. Awesome. And they're all held at the uh, Dalton Gang Range, which okay. is well known for cowboy action shooting. They have lots mm -hmm. of steel there. Right. And uh, they let us, they, they love to have us come out. They let us come out every year. 
and um, they're great people over there. Fantastic. So uh, the other question that I have for you is, do you have any kind of website where anybody can order yeah, like custom we do. stuff? Yep. Um, Snakehoundmachine.com. Snake you can find machine. lots of stuff on there. Or Google Snakehound Machine, mm -hmm. and you'll see all kinds of stuff from other people who talk about us, not just ourselves. Right. So awesome. We have reviews, videos out there everywhere, all over YouTube. Uh, Facebook.com slash Snakehound Machine. Very easy to find. There's lots of information out there. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Me. I appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Have a good one. Thank you. Thanks. Question for you. I am doing an uncut walkthrough tour of Porkfest and just uh, going up to the booths and talking to people. And you want to talk to me on camera? It's imagine that I'm just somebody who has, you know, maybe new to Porkfest, just coming through saying, hey, what's going on here? Can I imagine that you have a rock and bleached porcupine? <laughs> I did before. <laughs> happy birthday. Wait, do you want to talk to me? It is today, yes. Today. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, dude. There's it's a girl their right back there. That's her birthday too. Oh, um, awesome! What's her name? Rachel. She's like selling the owl hats up there. Oh yeah, awesome! Uh, it's her birthday, so it's awesome. Yeah, there's so many birthdays. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do you want to take any time to talk? Mark knows doing? more about this stuff than I do. What do you want to talk about? Um, the essential oils. You want to talk on camera or no? It's just okay. I've had plenty of notes too. <laughs> up to it. That's fine. That's cool. Um, where are you posting? Just YouTube. This is my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's FTL Johnson. I'm with Free Talk Live. Okay. So essentially, I have one from last year, and I'm just walking through, just like, hey, what's going on, you know? But if you don't want to talk on camera, that's fine. Scan the booth, fun, sure. We'll say hi and say. Hey. Okay, sure. I don't want to film anybody who doesn't want to be on camera, so it's absolutely fine. Take responsibility for your health and your family, natural wealth and lifestyle. Very cool. Uh, you wouldn't want to appear on camera with that. Yeah. I'd be really out for New Jersey, aren't you? Very good, thank you. Have a good day. Very cool, Longhorn Burgers. Chemically free, no GMO, grass fed, and they're taking Bitcoin. Awesome. <laughs> the, dogs, the dogs hate me this year. <laughs> There's one booth that I did not see earlier. Nobody here. Call for America. So there's that. Okay, so I'm going to take one more quick swing around. Looks <laughs> like they're playing some horseshoes or something.
Now, actually, so something that's interesting here is that uh, I uh, I actually don't have to ask. I can actually film anyone I want because we're all outdoors here. I guess that's really the law. But um, I am doing this out of courtesy for people. A lot of people around don't necessarily like to be on camera. So I try and ask permission first because it's really just the courteous thing to do. Well, maybe I will take a swing, swing a back around Hemsels if the owner is there. Owner back yet? No? Uh, not yet. All right. Run on a bicycle. All right, no problem. Well, I'm not going to get to talk to Hemsels, but that's fine. Google Hemsels, I'm sure, if you want. Dishmage, who I mentioned before, who is actually visiting at the college, from his standpoint, really spying out what's going on with with Esselish magic, because his he he he's a he's a kenner. He's part of the quarter of the Maj's Guild, which deals with learning things and with using magic to discover things. And his the general attitude of his people is that their magic is, of course, much better than the Esselish magic. They got the guild. They haven't really appreciated the existence of the college or various right. other things. His boss. So, so this Newtonian discovery does not spread. It has not yet spread. They, they have heard oh, nothing much. Just David Friedman talking with a bunch of people yeah. gathered around him. Folks chilling out playing basketball. Sitting on the hill. And I told I'm pretty obnoxious. I'm obnoxious too. Yeah, so two years ago I went up to him like, tell me to and it's like 20 bucks. It's like Buzz's big game dance party is winding down. Registration is closed for the day. So I'm going to take a quick pop up to the LRN Media Room, the LRN.FM Media Room, where there's uh, constantly uh, radio programs and speeches and sometimes some alternate events. I'll let you see what's going on in there. Maybe some of the big there, games. There are always those, though. But tell me, uh, have you have you laid out your your own version of, of the history of anarchism anywhere that you can find? 
Well, do YouTube videos? The, uh, the Alt Expo video from a few years ago is up, is up online. Um, Can we buy it on your website? It's, uh, I think it's, it's viewable, just on YouTube. Okay. So if you go to daringwooden.com, um, I actually have archives. Um, so I don't have like one coherent store now. But we'll be stuff. able to access it from there. Yeah, so you can get different historical bits of pieces. Awesome, Darian, thank you so much. The Angel Park Show will return radiofreedom.us. So Angel, Angel, I'm doing my like uncut 2013 walkthrough of Porkfest. Can I say a few words? <laughs> Rock on. Oh, right. oh my are god, you on I break? Love Porkfest. Yeah, we're on a break right now. Awesome. So this is just totally uncut. I've been like rolling since I was at uh, Big Gay Dance Party like an hour ago. So it's just oh totally uncut. Goes up on YouTube. I love, I love the tie and shirt matching outfit, by the way. If you're not at Porkfest, you need to be here next year. There are no excuses. This is the place where it happens. You get to meet everyone that you actually talk to online. And I don't know. It's just it's, it's my favorite place. Awesome. So obviously you're in the middle of doing the Angel Park show. <laughs> We're on a break. <laughs> What's your website? Radiofreedom.us. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for taking some time. Keep up the good work. Yes. So again, there's a million things that you can do. <laughs> you can be at a radio show, you can be at Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party, you can be at some sort of a demo. Um, actually, I didn't hit up Alt Expo. Let me go see what's going on at the Alt Expo tent because that is one of the places that I missed. I'm amazed and it's awesome that my video is still going. It looks like everything's going to sound good, which is fantastic. So, <laughs> obviously more people still dressed for well, this big gay dance party. Very smooth. Really? Hello. So there's a laundry service, need laundry, ice. Uh, there is some, um, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna show these signs just because they're awesome. So some of the things you'll see. Computer modem, use <laughs> phone booth. <laughs> and be aware that you are in fact in bear country. What else are you doing? Very cool. Actually, let me see if the staff is there. Let's talk to me. Yes, Chris. Can I talk to you soon? I'm doing an uncut tour of Porkfest. Do you want to talk to me? That's already You don't have to if you don't want to. What am I going to say? Anything. Say what Rogers thinks of Porkfest. <laughs> I love it, but I'm so tired. I'm not doing it, okay. <laughs> I, t I turned it and I, I turned it away. I got two but that's 10 pounds of already chubby. It's YouTube, and this is a very wide angle link. Yeah. Did you get any party down there? Did I get to that? Yes, I do. Yes. FTL Johnson, youtube.com slash FTL Johnson. I've got like two hours of footage right now. It just goes up uncut, so. So. Thank you. See ya. So, restrooms, which I will not <laughs> take. <laughs> as much as I would like to show you the bathrooms. The bathrooms are probably one of the less pleasant aspects of Porkfest. <laughs> when you have, you know, 1,500 people um, and only a few bathrooms. Well, there's, there's like probably, I think there's five different restroom sites. Um, but they're all very well trafficked and... There is a constant janitorial staff, but it is a lot to keep up with.
so I'm heading up towards Alt Expo, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but we will find out. Jack, question. Yeah. I'm doing a solid, very long uncut tour of Forkfest. Oh, okay. I'm wondering if you want to tell, tell, talk a little bit about all that stuff. Sure. Awesome. That's what you're just saying. Yep. Actually, yeah, I want to. He's getting to where. Maybe have Alt Expo in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you can get the sign back there. Huh? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so it's uncut, so I'm just going through. Just imagine that I'm like new to Forkfest and going, hey, what's this? <laughs> Well, yeah, um, the Alt Expo, um, we talk about some subjects that aren't on the main agenda just because there are a few, few more things that people want to hear about. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's a kind of a free event, so you're free to like create your own side event, which is what right. we've done. And in fact, back in 2007 when we did our first one, John Stossel came to speak at the uh, Liberty Forum, mm -hmm. and he remarked about how he was surprised that there was a fringe, even to the fringe movement, that, that was the libertarian movement. So, um, the only way I could tell you is like tell you a bunch of the topics that happened. Sure, yeah, absolutely, that's great. So we uh, had one topic that addressed the NSA revelations, but also how to regain your privacy on the mm -hmm. internet. Trying to remember everything. Uh, we well, there's one I wanted to get today that I missed that I'm still disappointed, but I know it's going on every day at once, so I might try to make it tomorrow. Wireless mesh networking. Yes, mesh networking. Uh, we've been pushing that from the very beginning because you can actually get on a mesh network here to allow you to have inter internet access. So you essentially kind of share it. And uh, the company that demonstrated this, they don't run any applications on it, it just gives you internet access. But mm -hmm. there are other mesh uh, applications too, like chats and things like that. Right. And I think it's going to be one of the really important technologies. Uh, I mean, people are concerned about what happens is if they flip the kill switch on right. the internet. So I think mesh networking is, is one of those ways we'll survive. Uh, we had to talk about uh, challenges in the libertarian movement and what are the solutions. Uh, I'm actually trying to remember what all we went over. Sure. Just yeah, a whole a bunch lot. of different. Oh, yeah, that's a huge, it's a huge schedule. It's like almost as big as the Parkfest schedule itself. Yeah, I mean, and you'd yeah. say, oh, you've got we, we have like one hour talks. So you've got to get in, give your talk, and, and get out fast. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we did have one on uh, public, economical publishing, budget publishing, oh, awesome. or they call it micro publishing. Uh -huh. So some of the zines that you see that are on sale, they're just printed out with people's desktop uh, right. printers. Um, oh, I'm forgetting some of the topics, but. Tomorrow we have the uh, conspiracy versus skeptics debate, which was, I think, oh, in wow. the pavilion last year. Oh, um, that sounds cool. When is that? Uh, gee, I forget the times. I think it's, it's 1 o'clock. Okay. And then, um, let's see, what else do we have? We just have, uh, I'm, I'm kind of burned out. You can you can see what we oh, have Oh, sure, yeah. Why not? Yeah, there we go. Um, and so for, for the movies, this has already been shown, I, I guess, in the uh, media the room. So we get a second screening of it here. Oh, so that'll go on at 8:45 tonight. Uh, and in a way, you know, we have our own uh, like vendor area. We have various different uh, things. So we have uh, food. We have open um, open garden, the uh, mesh networking company. There's oh, a yeah. general store. There's a zine library down there. That's all closed up. And then we actually make the space available when there's any extra time slots for other meetings. Oh wow, very cool. So last year we had the uh, Porcupine Redditors. They met at the, at the, the little little big tent here. Mm -hmm. And uh, out front, I don't know if you noticed this, but we have a, a demonstration of several different um, types of stoves. Oh wow. Like these are two different uh, rocket stoves. And then the one in the front is a pellet stove. And he's just now demonstrating uh, uh, cooking wow, this is a serious rocket stove. Yeah, right. <laughs> Concrete. <laughs> so this stove out here burns wood pellets. Oh, okay. And uh, so he's actually grilling or nine meat on that. And yeah, but I usually use 18 volts. Oh, wow. Okay. So he's, I think he's actually sold uh, three or four of them here. Uh, do, you, do you want to be on camera? Art, do you want to be on okay. camera? So what I'm doing is I'm doing an uncut sort of walkthrough of Porkfest 2013. Mm -hmm. and the video is like going to be like two hours long when I'm uh, setting through. So um, it's just un completely uncut. And I'm wondering if you want to talk a little bit about uh, the Prairie Dog Study. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you, do you want to talk? <laughs> do you want to talk about it? You, talk about it? <laughs> I think you know more about them than I do. <laughs> this is a this is a cook stove okay. and barbecue that runs on wood pellets oh, okay. rather than propane. We put the pellets in this hopper, and it's a gra gravity fed. Doesn't require any electricity. You move oh, wow. it down. Uh, and it goes up, and then you cook your food right here. Oh, wow. And you've got we have meat on a stick. We have uh, uh, New York sirloin and uh, chicken chicken breast. And so you are also selling those online? Prairie Dogstove.com? Yes, there's prairiedogstove.com. Very cool. But we're not selling the meat on a stick online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was right we now. Sold, uh, <laughs> we, came to, we came to Pork Fest to uh, sell the stove, yeah. but a demo had uh, brought the meat. <laughs> so rather than giving the meat away, we've been selling it. Selling the meat. It's, it's very popular. Yeah. We sold uh, three stoves at Pork Fest. And I was walking back about an hour ago. The guy who bought one. He's going over. He's cooking stuffed pork chops. And it's beautiful. I think I told you. Oh wow! So he's already using it to cook. Yeah. With. Yeah. Oh, so wow. He cooks some stew and he cooks his pork chops. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, he's given a he's given a bag of wood chips. A lot, or yeah, I wood gave pellets. if they bought a stove, I gave him a bag of uh, pellets. So it may be out of date That's by the time people like it. see it next year, but you may ask how much they run for. Uh, One thirty nine. One thirty nine. So it's totally you reasonable price. You can either run them with a grill, or you put a pan. Up. You can put a pan up here, up right? There for, uh, oh, wow. Cooking, uh, you know, with this. or a frying pan, right? Awesome. And look for other uh, modifications in the next generation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent. So we well, also have. Uh, uh, we share the space. What we're trying to do is make Pork Fest uh, economical and affordable mm -hmm. for people. So. Um, some people run an enterprise here, like the Massage Mahal, mm -hmm. or um, we get um, an extra large size um, uh, tent camping spot, and we share the space with other people too. And we essentially survive on donations. And uh, I think in the first few years we probably didn't break even, but we're breaking even now. And uh, it's not really intended as a huge money maker, but it's it's it's. We break even, and we provide the space for other people. Right, and you're providing an excellent service. I love this stuff that goes on with all the Yeah. Stuff. Oh, great. Thanks. Fantastic Thanks. that you guys do that. So. so that's that's a lot of it. I mean, you can look at the uh, the Expo Village if you want. Sure. It's just right next door to the Altex. <laughs> Random <laughs> wandering dog. <laughs> uh, 8.30 is when it starts. Okay, so you want to come at 8.15? Or... <laughs> no. Okay. And then, uh, so this is the Expo oh, Village. Oh, wow. Okay. And so we have like a village green in the middle, and uh, people come from all over the country, of course, and uh, and we uh, pretty much advertise this on uh, Facebook that we're mm -hmm. doing this on the Pork Fest pages, and uh, we actually somebody else gave up their tent site, so we actually bought another site. From, oh wow! From somebody else, we bought out their contract or whatever, mm -hmm. and so we have people camping over there too. Oh, very cool! Yeah, this is really cool. You guys have got it like all set up in kind of a you know yeah. a circle area and made everything community. Yeah, there's the village kitchen and the village fire and whatever, you know. Yeah. Well, very cool. Thank you so much for sure taking thing. the time to talk to me. Sure thing. Have fun. Thank you. See you, you later. You too. Have a great Pork Fest. All right. And I will hopefully see you next year. So you're actually still filming? And... I'm just still filming and just walking as I go. And oh, okay. actually, I had a bunch of people come up to me and say that they really appreciated it because it's just so, it's just a very raw way of getting it and seeing all the people walking around. You get so much more information by doing that. So, yeah, yeah you know. exactly. Yep. Thank you. Talk Thanks, have a great one. Then. Talk to you later. Actually, maybe I'm going to talk no, to Miss Porky Pole. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Yeah. Holy crap. Do you want to talk to me about being Miss Porky Pole this year? <laughs> Pardon me? I'm doing an uncut uh, uh, tour of uh, Pork Fest. Yes. And I'm wondering if you want to talk to me about being Miss Porky Pole this year. <laughs> so, cool. You know, you may be walking through and see something like this. <laughs> and uh, so, what is the Porky Pole contest? The Porky Pole Contest is, is a, an opportunity to express yourself mm -hmm. on a pole, which is a viable new means of uh, creative expression, actually. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, I've seen some phenomenal pole dancers. It's acrobatic, mm -hmm. it's strength, it's poise, and it's creativity. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, they thought I was pretty good at it. <laughs> and I just did what I thought was appropriate. So let me ask you this. So other than pole dancing, is there anything that else that brings you to Pork Fest this year? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alt Expo uh -huh. and the opportunity to share my passion for bringing <laughs> solutions to what, how we can move forward. Mm -hmm. Not just being a, a consumer of agorism, mm -hmm. but a participant. Right. And that is 
to uh, think about what we can do to promote the idea that we don't need the corporation, mm -hmm. we don't need the state, mm -hmm. we can promote a society that's integrated using products and services that we choose to, to reinforce the beauty of our lives. Right. So let me ask uh, just real quick, because I know a lot of people that are going to be watching this video are people that have never been to Porkfest or looking yes. to see what Porkfest is all mm -hmm. about, so they may not know what agorism is. So I know you might be able to infer a little bit about it from what you just said, but uh, if you want to give a quick def definition of agorism, you know, what you would say agorism is. Agorism is more a, uh, a low budget, mm, low regulation form of using your talents mm -hmm. to support local community in ways that licensing and other regulations by the government seem inappropriate. Mm -hmm. And basically that. Yeah. Uh, and the more people that we you know get doing that, the better because it's you know taking power away from the system really you know the well the, we're actually the supporting we're actually supporting a more integrated society mm -hmm. by being uh, acting with integrity and supporting those goods and services that people that we're, we're accountable right current corporations and government activity they hide themselves behind uh, legal ease right and, and corporation and, one, yes you know, just and there's a lack of responsibility but there's absolute re responsibility for what it is you do in the quality and what it is you provide and so agorism is a process to be accountable and to be add to your society that you choose to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me, and I hope you have a great rest of your Porkfest. Thank you. Have a great day. And I think I'm almost through everything. I don't know if there's anything I missed. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's completely uncut. So I'm just walking through as though, you know, somebody just walks in, they've never been before. They get to see everything that I see. Also, did you know about the Porcupine X for X? Oh, shirt, yeah. special T-shirt. X for X. What does the X for X stand for? Ten for ten. Ten for ten. So oh, these are the so people, people who have been, been ten for ten. Oh, I am not a ten for ten, unfortunately. I missed. In memory of Lloyd Danforth, who passed away about a year ago. Oh so yeah. He, he would have been here. I think we might have missed a name or two, but I'm actually one of the people that is actually 11 for 11, so if you include the one right before Port West <laughs> called Escape to New Hampshire, I was there too. Right, well, that's amazing. Yeah, I've, I, I myself, people are amazed when I say I've done eight. You know, oh, yeah, and, really? Yeah, I've been, awesome. I've been to eight, so. But I, missed, so I think I missed the second one and the fourth one is the one that I missed, but. Um, other than that, so I've been actually more than, you know, I'm with Free Talk Live, but I've actually been to more Porkfest than Ian. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's amazing because pretty soon it grew so big that you don't actually see everybody or meet everybody. So oh, met you. yeah, it's crazy. And every year, you know, I feel like every year I come away from Porkfest with like, you know, 100 or 200 new friends on Facebook and, you know, a bunch more names that I can't remember. <laughs> But it's it's a struggle every year to try and keep everybody, but it's it's fantastic. So, well, thank you again for taking time. So. Okay, well, I have 10% uh, battery left, so uh, I think I'm gonna have to cut it short. I will mention that this happened this year. So we had this uh, little thing that happened at Rogers. Oh, there's a playground for kids. There's plenty of kid-friendly stuff here. Um, there was a fire that occurred uh, literally just a month before uh, Porkfest. They had a major fire in this building, um, unfortunately. But it'll be interesting to see what this looks like next year after they rebuild. Uh, this used to be called the Jazz Hall um, or the Bingo Hall. They've, they've kind of renamed it because they, they renamed it the Jazz Hall because there was so much... Um, uh, you know, they had a lot of jazz concerts and whatnot during Porkfest, so. And there are cabins and tent, various tent sites, and people staying in campers and whatnot. So, um, that's pretty much it. Um, and you can get, I'm sure, more, much more information online at porkfest.com. So, hope to see you soon.